kitchen at The Cook's Cook, we use all kinds of cookware made by many different brands. I've recently fallen in love with wall diamond light curl cookware made in Germany, and I have in front of me a beautiful 10-piece set. The cookware has all the things that I love in a set of pots and pans. First of all, it comes in a terrific range of shapes and sizes. This is the largest pan, and it's a stock pot. Now, you probably remember that most stock pots are usually tall and narrow. And I've always wondered why, because a lot of times you're going to want to reduce the liquid in the pot, and a narrow surface, a small surface, will make it harder to reduce whatever is inside. This is a terrific shape for a stock pot because you can see the sides slope out a little bit and it has a very large surface area on top. It's great because you can fit a large piece of meat inside, bake it in the oven, braise it. If you are putting something in the pan that's going to have a coating on top, it might be melted cheese or toasted breadcrumbs, it's going to give you more surface area for that delicious addition to whatever it is you're cooking. And you can use this just as a regular stock pot if you're making broth. Make your broth if you decide you want to reduce it. This size and shape is going to make it very easy for you. I absolutely love this. One thing that I love is that the lids are made out of glass. I will never again buy a set of pans that don't have glass lids. It's terrific to be able to just look into the pan and see how everything's coming along. See if it needs to be stirred. See if your rice is cooked. It's really just fantastic, and I actually think glass lids are indispensable. They have sturdy handles on the lids and also on the pans. I've developed a new recipe and cooked it in this beautiful stock pot. And I wanted to have a recipe using beef for spring, and I was in the mood for a beef stew, but I wanted to lighten it up for spring. So, I've done something a little bit different. First of all, you can see that I've combined it with pasta, and even though pasta is not a light dish, but I still feel that it lightens up the feel and the flavor of this dish. And I cooked it with chicken broth. I had some homemade chicken stock that I used, but canned broth or packaged broth would be just fine. And instead of using what is most traditional, which is a red wine, I used a white wine in this dish. Now you'll see, maybe if you can uh, see the mushrooms on top, that they are morel mushrooms. And I had some dried morels where I live, it's early spring, and so we don't have really fresh mushrooms, but we have really terrific mushrooms in the supermarkets. And I had some really nice dried morels, so I used those. If you're going to use fresh mushrooms, you can add them toward the end of cooking. And you don't have to use dried morels. If you have any other dried mushrooms around, those will be just great. I think this dish came out really well.